Hello students, please subscribe the channel, drop a like, share and comment. This is dictation number 41 and 42 of the model speed dictation volume number 1 on the speed of 100 words per minute. Start. Mr. Vice Chairman, I am grateful to the honorable members who have participated in the debate on the appropriation bill. Let me at the outset concede to the House that appropriation bill, according to us, is a very important bill and the very valuable suggestions of the honorable members deserve a reply from my very respected senior colleague, the Honorable Finance Minister himself, but his preoccupation in the larger national interests has required him to go out and therefore I will be very humble in saying that if I cannot meet with the expectations of the Honorable Friends, as they should have expected from my senior and very respected honorable finance minister, they should pardon me. I would only try to answer some of the points raised here. There are some general points and there are some points which the honorable members have raised regarding their states or as individual problems. I would first of all deal with those general problems collectively. One of the criticisms against the budget is that there is no adequate provision for such important items such as agriculture, irrigation and food for work program. I am sure when I give facts, this impression shall be corrected. There is a very concerned feeling expressed in the house and that is with regard to inflation. Nobody on our side, none sitting on the treasury benches, has ever claimed that we have conquered this evil. What we have been trying is to arrest it. We have not completely conquered it. One thing that comes in our way of even arresting it is the situation in which the economy was entrusted to us. What was the economic situation that was left to us when we took over? In January 1980, we inherited a deficit of rupees 2700 crores and 22% inflation. The Honorable Finance Minister once described in this house that we were required to put the economy in intensive care unit. By this we have succeeded in bringing down the inflation from 22% to 15%. Our legacy was that the economic infrastructure was totally collapsed and the rate of inflation was high and the deficit was the highest. With this situation, we took charge and gradually improved our position. What was our approach? Our approach was that more and more supply of commodities is the only answer in a country like ours. Therefore, on the agricultural front, fortunately, with nature with us, and with our farmers with us, we have been making the best of production. On the industrial front also, the figures are known to the house. I can say that the industry is picking up. We did not think of certain measures and as the Honorable Minister of Finance said, 
fears were expressed that our deficit would go up this is due to inflation i want to know what steps have been taken by the government to curb the rise in prices of food grains sir some of the honorable members rightly referred to the contribution of the states towards the deficit i would expect that those honorable members who have pleaded the cause of the states would also convey our request to them that they should also try to take care to see that their budgets are also not more and more deficit budgets whereas it is our obligation to honor the commitments to the states we also expect from the states they are part of the contribution and in this connection i would say that in the sixth five year plan we have expectations from the states also but sometimes it is said that our deficit budget can be cut down to zero deficit budget well sir it is not very difficult but how do we do it should we reduce the allocation for the schemes meant for the people who have given us the mandate therefore reducing the plan estimates or cutting down the projects for bring the deficit to zero in this manner is not our policy we shall try to meet the planned expenditure and we have estimated for it and we have the necessary sanction from the national development council sir on the one hand we are trying to arrest the inflation on the other hand we are taking up programs for the welfare of the poor people but there are forces beyond our control which are at work and we cannot insulate our economy completely from the international or outside aggression by the petrol prices the fertilizer prices the crude prices etc and simply it is not in our power to check them we are under an obligation to pay those prices which the international markets demand and they play a very important role in the inflation in our economy it may be appreciated that it is to the credit of this government and it is to the credit of the honorable prime minister that we have been able to retain the flow of crude and petroleum products and fertilizers from those countries which themselves are in difficulty but so far as we are concerned their supply to us is constant and uninterrupted so the nation will appreciate that if we are keeping our economy safe and unaffected as it never could have been done it is entirely because of the far sightedness of the honorable prime minister and the finance minister these were the common points raised by members as regards the doubts about the allocation and the drought position i can tell my friends that our system is such that when there is a report about drought a central team visits the states and gives its own report the central team has recently returned and a decision on its assessment is yet to be taken
but pending that rupees 10 crores have already been given to the state of tamil nadu as advance plan assistance subject to what the allocation would be as per our normal practice and the rule